Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on VeChain whose current price stands at the 0.0266 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is up by 3.49% and in this video I want to give the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the Elliott waves and the Fibonacci's and also the key areas of support and resistances so if you're interested in such content make sure that you stick around till the end of the video I'll kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart VeChain from the all time high has been seeing lower prices in this massive ABC correction which has now taken us to around the 0.02 dollar mark and having done so I believe it has done the minimum that we expected that ABC correction to the lower side to do and if I start my analysis here on the daily chart here on the daily chart you can see we had been trading within this channel we managed to break out of that channel to the upside continued pushing higher managed to break above other key areas of resistances and at the key area of resistance at around the 0.0362 dollar mark we faced rejection at that key area of resistance and we are seeing a massive pullback to the lower side and if i jump to the 4 hour chart for further analysis here on the 4 hour chart you can see after making our low at around the 0.02 dollar mark we saw a very nice bounce to the upside and in that movement we had been trading within this descending channel we managed to break out of that channel to the upside managed to break above a key area of resistance at around the 0.026 dollar mark we even saw a retest of that key area of resistance and we continued continued pushing her and at the key area of resistance at around the 0.03362 dollar mark before we got rejected we had been trading within another channel we managed to break out of that channel and that move has been taking us to the lower side and previously in my videos I had said that I'm turning this move to the upside as an ideal to have structure and I had it here on the charts this as the first wave to the upside then we saw a retracement to the lower side in the formation of our wave 2 then we continued pushing to the upside in the formation of our wave 3 then i expected to see the formation of our wave 4 then continue pushing high in the formation of our wave 5 and once you see the completion of a high of our wave 5 then we can name that as a higher edge to wave count 1 and if i get a little bit into the details so that we can have the key scenarios that i expect to play out here on this chart i had a target area here on the charts for that that wave to the upside and that i was basing it on the trend based fibonacci by connecting the low of the wave 1 to the high of the wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the wave 2 that was giving me a target area for that that wave at around the 0.0312 dollar mark and you can see vchain respected that we even overshooted that target area for that third wave then we started to see a very nice retracement to the lower side in what i believed was the formation of the fourth wave to the lower side and i even had a target area here on the charts and for that fourth wave to the lower side and that i was basing it on the fibonacci's because our wave 4 is a retracement of the third wave we can use the fibonacci's connecting the low of the wave 3 to the high of that third wave and that gives me a target area between the fib level 0.618 and the fib level 0.5 so i had it here on the charts as the minimum retracement area for that fourth wave to the lower side you can see we came down into that target area we even overshooted it and down here so i had an invalidation point for that fractal wave to the upside at around the 0.026 dollar mark which is an area that we have maximized here on the charts and according to the Elliott waves guidelines a wave 4 should not retrace into the area or the region of that first wave to the upside and you can see here in our wave 4 we came down into that target area and having done so this Elliott wave structure is now invalid and I need to remove it here on the charts also remove those target areas and have a new sketch out a new scenario that could be playing out here on this chart and the only thing that we can term this upward movement to the upside as is just an ABC correction which was correcting that impulsive move to the lower side so this might be a big uh, a huge ABC correction having that having that as the wave A then we saw a movement to the lower side in the formation of a wave B then we saw a retracement to the lower side in the formation of a wave B then we continued pushing even high in the formation of our wave C which gave us a high at around the 0.034 dollar mark then whatever we are seeing here might be the formation of a five wave structure to the lower side so it's possible that 
we might see some lower lows here on the v chain chart if the crypto market continues to crash and if that is the case then the key scenarios that i expect to play out i expect v chain to continue unlocking lower prices in a five wave structure to the lower side having this as the first wave to the lower side then i expect to see a retracement to the upside in the formation of a wave 2 then continue seeing the prices in the formation of a wave b of a wave 3 then a wave 4 and then a wave 5 to complete that move to the lower side and that move can give us lower lows here on the charts unless we invalidate that move here on the charts and if i get a little bit into the details of this fractal wave that i have here on the charts uh we can use the fibonacci's to get to see whether this is a valid wave one to the lower side and to do that we just connect the law the fibonacci's from the law of this wave b down here to the high of that wave c and that gives me a target area for that retracement to the lower side between the fib level 0 0.618 and the fib level 0 0.382 as a maximum and i can mark it out here on the charts like that and if i remove the fibonacci's you can see that v chain has respected that we came down into that target area we have maximized it a little bit and we are seeing a very nice bounce to the upside and we are just about to start trading above a key area of a key area of resistance at around the 0.026 dollar mark so if we see a retest of that key area of resistance once we manage to break above it we have a retest of that key area of resistance then the retest is a success and we continue pushing higher that could be the formation of our wave 2 to the upside and once we see the formation of our wave 2 then we can anticipate for lower prices in the formation of a third wave and once we see the formation of our wave 2 then we can sketch out a target area for that third wave to the upside and if we assume that the low for that first wave is in we can get a target area for that second wave to the upside using the fibonacci's connecting the low of that first wave up there to the low that we have down here that gives me the minimum target area for that second wave to the upside in that pull back to the upside between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.618 so in case we have a retest of that key area of resistance and we continue pushing higher i would expect us to get into that target area up here between the 0 0.029 dollar mark and the 0 0.028 dollar mark so it's possible we might see higher prices get into that target area then continue seeing lower prices in the formation of this fractal wave which is going to give us lower lows here on the charts so let's be patient and see how that plays out if i also take a look at the indicators to see whether those movements here on the rsi will be supported on the rsi we are trading at around the 40 mark and that means we have massive room for us to support any movement to the upside to get into our target area then see a retracement to the lower side in the formation of a wave three if I also take a look at the MACD, here on the MACD we have printed a bullish cross and that would mean higher prices could be coming our way. So let's be patient and see how that plays out. Whether we are going to maximize our yellow target area for that second wave, then continue seeing the prices in the formation of our wave 2, which is a fractal wave that might be giving us lower lows here on the VeChain charts. And that's all for this video.